Hey everyone, this is Dan from DS Design Woodworking. This project is a cedar desk that started out as not a desk. I had some cedar laying around and some epoxy to use, so I was planning to make a coffee table out of it. And as I got into the project, just changed my mind on it. The cedar wasn't very thick, so I decided to do a book match on the ends and use the planer to plane down just the ends to half the thickness I wanted. Left the rest of it thicker because the wood I'm going to use for a filler wasn't as thick as the main cedar board. I wanted to take up the space in the bottom for two reasons. One, because uh, epoxy costs a lot more than some scrap wood. And two, because you don't want to have dissimilar materials top and bottom. The wood on top, if it were solid epoxy on the bottom, would move with changes in temperature and humidity and the epoxy wouldn't. So it would be setting up for something that might warp down the line. After getting it planed down and sanded, I put two coats of Rubio on to get the top sealed so it wouldn't move, then knowing it was going to sit for quite a while in my shop. I have wanted to do some wood bending so I was drawing up different ways to make legs out of that. Oh. But at some point there decided to turn into a desk and then work my way through some design ideas to add the, uh, the curved feet top and bottom and then a drawer that hopefully would look kind of like it's floating. Get some lines glued up here to make the feet out of. They're going to be a mortise and tenon set up to make the legs strong. After getting those cut, I could either uh, square up the holes or round off the tenon ends and decided it would be easier to start them with a the router and then just finish off the curved on the tenon instead of chiseling out the, um, the mortises to be square. With a test bit and everything good to go, time to start working on the feet. I'm going to remove as much as I can with the bandsaw and then, and then use double stick tape to secure the template. I knew I was going to have trouble here with some of the grain going the wrong way on the curves and tried to approach it very cautiously and immediately got exactly what I deserved. Uh, so I had to rethink how I was going to go about it. And I realized I could do a half of each foot and raise the bit up to finish the cut. So I could flip it over and stick the template to the other side and then go back and safely finish the grain going the other way. With all that done, I had a quarter inch round over all around. And it was a little easier with a small enough cut there and some caution. I was able to just run the whole thing. I didn't want the legs to be square with the feet with so much shape to them. So I used a tabletop bit with a, a hefty curve to it to turn the legs into more of an oval shape. With those assembled and some finish on them, I moved down to the drawer fronts. I wanted them to look the same as the top, so I cleaned up uh, another piece of cedar and, and poured the same color epoxy in there. And used a template of the drawer front just to uh, pick the, uh, the best looking spot to cut them out of that bigger board. I used the drawer boxes themselves to add some stability to the legs because they would be very weak otherwise. They're, they're glued and screwed together and then bolted to the top which is not real strong laterally, but it's good enough for a desk in there. Then we get to the finished product, which is uh, being used by my wife as her work desk now that her office is gone and she works from home full time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did, and feel free to leave a question or comment. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another project.